Hello, Chuck and friends. Welcome. We are getting all crafty tonight. I've got paint out. I've got tools out. I've got stuff out. Because we are going to make the most adorable little snowman -y. Not a snowman, but a snowman inspired craft. But it involves paint. So I need to do a little bit of painting um, for our super cute little nose and our little corn cob pipe because I gotta tell you, I did a little shopping today trying to search for a corn cob pipe and okay, Hobby Lobby I know will have them or something that I could use for them, but they're closed on Sundays. Thank goodness. I mean, I, I applaud the fact that they're closed on Sundays. Um, but that doesn't help when I want to craft and I need a corn cob pipe. So I went to my other two friends' houses, you know, my friend Joanne and my friend Michael, and was shocked at how little actual Christmas stuff they had. I mean, like, shocked. So, um, that is how I ended up. I am making my own corn cob pipe. <laughs> You should stick around just for the pure entertainment value of Maria trying to hot glue things together. So, we're going to make, I have a, a popsicle stick that I cut off to make it shorter, and I have a little spool. We're going to paint it black. Let's see if I can make it look like a corn cob pipe. And then we have our little orange nose, which is from these little carrot guys I have, and I cut off the, you know, leaves because we're not going to use those. So we need to paint these. And then I went thrift store shopping. I'm telling you, by the time I am done with this, you are all going to be running and buying this stuff and making this adorable project because it is, just wait till you see. Okay, so now some of you may have one of these laying around. <laughs> I have a very strict no pet policy. So we do not have a fish tank hanging around in my house, but I bought this at Goodwill for very little money. You may have one. I also bought, let me grab it quick, because I have, I bought another one in like the candy bowl section, which is rounded and also looks super cute. So what we are, and this one was also, oh, this one was more, this one was $2.99. Um, I like the flat face for what we're, at, we're doing, but I totally think you could do this with a rounded glass bowl. Even I thought like a um, like a hurricane for a lamp would work. So um, you can totally get creative with how you do this. But we're going with the fish tank idea. And then I just, you know how sometimes the stars and the moons align? It was one of those days today. So look at what my Goodwill had. I know, right? <laughs> Check it out. It's metal. Now this was pricey for me for a craft. This was $3.99. But it fits perfectly. Now, I didn't need to buy this because, because you're going to say, yeah, I'm going to go to my Goodwill, but they're not going to have that, so I can't make this. However, I actually had one already at home, and they look really identical. This one's just a little smaller. It's not as tall. Um, this one is metal. This one is a felt hat from Hobby Lobby. Um, so you could totally find this. Now I'm assuming this, I did buy this last year. So I'm assuming, I mean, it totally works just as well. And it's just as cute. And it's, it's a felt hat instead of a metal hat. So it really is just as adorable. Um, don't buy this unless it's on sale though. Would be mine. Because it was, it's a $13.99 original. But I'm sure they tend to have the same things every year. But I'm sure they have them again. We've got to be able to find something for a hat. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this super cute little fish bowl. We're going to fill it with our corn cob pipe, our corn nose, and some buttons for our eyes. You know, who doesn't have big, huge black buttons hanging around? Or, yeah, an entire bin full of them. Yeah, people that are obsessed with buttons do. Um, then we have some fake snow. So we're going to throw our fake snow in. We're going to, oh, and, and a scarf. He needs a scarf. We're not doing like his buttons down his little body because I think it will be confusing. Um, 
So we're gonna put some snow in here, we're gonna make his little face, and we are going to chalk on the outside of this from our super cute, uh, tis the season to be freezing. I love this transfer. You make, you make me melt. So we're gonna make a little melted snowman inside of our fish tank. I know, sometimes I outdo myself. But I think it's gonna be adorable in our cute little fish tank. So. We need to do a little bit of painting and a little bit of hot gluing. We need to make our hot, our uh, corn cob pipe. Oops. So I have my little, I mean literally, it's a spool. I was, I do have this guy too. Um, but I think the spool looks better. I was looking for one of my candle pots. Today was the day that my new organizational system came to a test because I was looking for this stuff. And I, I did okay, I found all this stuff really fast. I just didn't find the actual wood piece that I wanted. Okay, so I just hot glued this little guy on the end. <laughs> I mean, really. <laughs> That's the extent of the gluing that we'll, we'll do. I'll glue his hat on uh, with E6000. I'm not gonna hot glue it on, because I, I want it to stick. Okay, I can't get my little glue gun in there, but oh well. Okay, so we need to paint. So we need to paint this little guy black. We need to paint this little guy orange. Um, so how is everybody? I hope you guys are good. I, did, I guess I just kind of started talking today, didn't I? There's a lot of squirrels in the room. Um, I'm making Maria. I'm your truck tour independent designer. Welcome to my demo. I teach you how to take simple projects and make them look cool. Like you don't need a ton of creative uh, ability to make the things I make. Um, and I show you how to do it. So welcome. So I'm just painting my little orange nose. I mean, you could totally get very fancy with your painting if you're a fancy painter person. I am not. Uh, to me, it's amazing to me that I can paint anything. <laughs> so I can paint a, a corn or a carrot orange. I really want to call it corn, but it's a carrot. So I'm painting my carrot orange. I do need to paint both sides. So I'm going to set it there. I'm going to dry it real quick. Did everybody have a good weekend? I think the Packers won today. I don't know. I didn't pay attention. <laughs> I should, but I don't. All right, so I'm just drying so I can flip it over. So I'm gonna say hello to those of you that are here this evening. Where are you guys? Oh, you guys aren't there. You guys are up here today. Hello, Miss Virginia. Hello, Kristen. Hello, Diane. Hello, Sandy. Welcome, welcome. So I'm just drying this real quick, so if you can pop in and say hi, I like it when you guys talk to me while I craft, it makes it so much more fun for me. Hey Kayleen, welcome! We're making a melted snowman today in our little fish tank I got at Goodwill. I love to go to Goodwill, it's like treasure hunting. So much fun. Okay, so my one side is dry, so I'm just going to paint my other side of my little carrot guy orange. Um, I bought these carrots actually for a different project we did at Easter time. So, see, it pays sometimes to be a craft hoarder because, oh, I need a carrot. Another thing I could find nowhere today in my little shopping escapades. Um, Goodwill didn't even have a carrot. I could have gone in my Easter decorations if I had to, but then I remembered I had these guys. So I ended up being good. I'm gonna dry this side. Kathy K survived homecoming. We did too. Hello, Miss Diane. Um, yeah, so homecoming for our high school. So Kathy K and I both have uh, people in our high school. And uh, your uh, granddaughter looked amazing, Kathy K. I thought in the pictures. She's a beautiful young woman. I did have to say, not her, my husband and I were upstairs earlier, um, we have family in another state, not the Texas people, and um, it just shocks me sometimes, I think I'm kind of prudish when it comes to clothing. <laughs> Ooh, Kristen has homecoming this week. Oh, that should be, it's so much fun. You know, the whole dress up like this this day. Okay, so I literally have a carrot nose. I'm going to quick wipe off because I'm just going to 
uh, paint our little corn cob pipe black. I should probably paint it a different color. I did pull out gray. What do you think? Should my corn cob? I, yes. The pipe should maybe be, you know, yellow, I guess, right? Corn cob. Um, but I have gray or black. You think the pipe, because I have the buttons are black. Do you think I should paint the pipe black or gray? What do you guys think? Hey, Carrie, I'm not ignoring your message, Carrie. Well, I kind of am, sorry. I'm not really ignoring it. I just, I have glanced at it. I need to take a look at it and like actually focus on reading it. Um, so I apologize, Carrie, I'm not ignoring your message. Okay, so my, my paintbrush is clean, so I'm good to go. I don't know. So our buttons are black, we got our nose, and we have our little pipe. Maybe just stick with black. You guys aren't answering me, so when you, when you don't answer me, I'm left to my own devices. <laughs> That's never good. <laughs> I'm going to shake up the black while I give you guys a second to answer. So what we're doing is we're taking this super cute little fish bowl. We're going to fill him with our fun little snowman pieces. Oh my gosh, this is going to be adorable. Some snow and a little scarf. Hey, Debbie from Texas. Okay, I agree. I think black. Um... And then we're gonna top it. And then we're gonna chalk. You make me melt. <laughs> I'm like so proud of myself with this little project. Grace, ooh. Kristen, you're getting fancy. Kristen, you have way more confidence in my painting abilities. <laughs> Maybe if I hadn't um, already glued it together, I could paint them different colors. But yeah, Kristen, you're so funny. I am not that uh, paintingly creative. So yeah, so we had homecoming and my son is a senior. So you know, it's the year of all of the, the last, the last pictures, the last, all of it. I'm trying not to be depressed. <laughs> but this one is very ready to fly. Total confidence in this young man. He's going to be amazing in whatever he chooses to do. Because I can guarantee you it will be his own way and nobody else's way. <laughs> we, all, we all have one, right? I have more than one. <laughs> I like to say we all have one, but I have more than one. So I'm drying it so that I can hold on to it and paint the other part of it. And I do need to just get that big old blob on it to dry faster. Um... Yeah, it is kind of the, kind of sad. I keep telling him I miss him already. He's like, Mom, I haven't gone anywhere yet. I'm like, I know, but you don't even talk to me anymore. It's okay. That's what they're supposed to do. You want them to do this. I keep telling myself that. I want you to do this. But you know, so he is an amazing young man. And he has all of the same friends from like middle school. Some from grade school, or, yeah, some from grade school, but many, most of them are from middle school. So, you know, you've seen these kids, like, grow up, and now you look at them, and their voices are deep, and they're, they're taller than you, and, oh my goodness, they're such a, and he has such a fun, amazing group of friends, they're good kids. All right, so, our corn cob pipe. It's a stretch. I know. I might. Maybe I won't glue it yet, and I'll go tomorrow when Hobby Lobby's open and see if I can find an actual pipe. <laughs> maybe. But you know, when you're in a pinch, you gotta pull out the popsicle sticks and make one. Plus, I'm not so sure. Once it lands inside of our little melted snowman, you might not realize that it's a oops, handmade little pipe. So we have one of those like build your own snowman kits we got from our neighbors, our really amazing neighbors, not when our kids were littler. And I actually pulled that out. I'm like, there's gotta be a pipe in here. Well, yeah, it's way too big for my little um, fishbowl. So anybody else have homecoming? My little, little kids went to the homecoming football game on Friday night. 
they've never been to a high school football game, oh my gosh, that was very entertaining. I did not go with them, so I got to listen to all the funny stories from them. And of course, they all came home glittered, <laughs> because it was, it was a pink out, so everybody wears pink, and then these lovely young women sit in the stands, and they paint your kid with glitter, and then they send them home. <laughs> pink glitter. I'm still vacuuming up pink glitter. Okay, our corn cob pipe, pipe is dry. All right, so now we have our cute little pipe. I'm going to move this out of my way. So we're done painting. We need to make our scarf. I'm going to quick wash out my paint brush in my water bath. So this super cute little hat that we got, again, I bought it at Goodwill. But don't be alarmed. I hate that when people show things that they bought at Goodwill because it's not like you can go buy it. But I wasn't going to buy it because I have one that's from Hobby Lobby. And it's very cute. Oops. Very cute. It's felt. It's a very pretty hat. And it, I mean, they're almost the same exact size. So I'm going to use this one just to use it up. Um, but this would totally work. This is a smaller fishbowl. But it would totally work as well. And you don't, I mean, of course you're going to chalk on the outside of it. You make me melt. Of course you are. Right? But you could not if you didn't want to. And still have just this adorable little melted snowman. All right, so. We're taking our stuff out. I need to take the price tag off. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to wash it down with rubbing alcohol. And I do that because you know how you get that feeling? I have that happen myself in my um you know like anybody have a china cabinet that has like wine glasses and stuff like that in it that they, I don't know what it is that gets on them the film from your house um so you just take a quick little washing down with rubbing alcohol and that will take everything off of it, it takes all the you know oils or whatever was on it and it gets them off and I'm going to do the inside too and then we're just going to fill it up we, well we'll chalk it first and then we're going to fill her up with our snow stuff and I'm not going to glue the hat on yet because I do want to see if I can find if it doesn't look adorable enough with our little handmade corn cob pipe which who knows maybe it's gonna look so adorable with our our little handmade corn cob pipe that I'm not gonna need to go shopping I do want to see here thought I had Windex in here I do I do want to get the inside of it with Windex because once I um, put the hat on it and hot glue the hat on it I'm not gonna be able to wash it anymore so I am just gonna quick Make it shiny and bright, right? Because we want to see our super cute little stuff that we've made to go inside. So I'm just giving it a little wipe down with Windex. Yeah, so I totally scored today when I went. Between the fishbowl being perfect, the hat being perfect, and that, you know what that just says to me is it was a project that was made to be made, right? outside Got that rubbing alcohol off and now we have a super shiny super pretty little fish tank now again you don't have to use fish tank I found this really cool bowl there as well that would also work it is nice and round um, you could use those glass blocks and put lights in it um, that would be really cute you know what I'm talking about the square glass blocks you could put the You Make Me Melt and put a snowman hat on it. There's all kinds of different services that you could use to create the same look. Um, and I like the idea of putting the lights in it. I should have thought of that. But we're going we're gonna to fill our little snowman up with melted snow. And then I've got some big buttons. We've got our pipe. And we've got our little carrot nose. Move my stuff out of the way. Get my transfer out. 
I think we will chalk black. I mean, I think we're gonna stick with black. We could do we could do red shimmer. That would be pretty. Oops, it's already cut. I don't have to cut it. So we're using the. This transfer is called You Make Me Melt. It has a super cute little snowman, which we are gonna make another project with. It also has the Tis the Season to be Freezing, which is the sweatshirt we made last week that I wore all weekend, which was awesome. Everybody laughed at me because it totally fits me. Um, I'm just fuzzing. Oh, I don't wanna use this rig, I wanna use my fuzzing cloth. This rig has gunk on it. Um, so, Basically, I've come up with three different things that you can make with this one transfer, which totally makes it affordable to me. I like to think about when you look at a transfer, what are all the different things that you can do with it. Um, and this is just a fun little way to create. Not expensive, because you know, I went to Goodwill. I didn't, I didn't pay a lot of money. Um, the sweatshirt I bought on clearance, and um, our other project, not telling you. Okay, so we're gonna stick our You Make Me Melt. Now I was thinking, so it's gonna say You Make Me Melt. It's gonna have our little hat. It's gonna have our melted snowman on it. We have, I have ribbon to make a scarf. So I was thinking one of two things. We could go around the base with the ribbon. Yeah, I can't see it. Could go around the base with the ribbon and tie it. That might be cute. Or we could tie the ribbon or the scarf and put it inside. I think we'll do it on the outside. Just because, and then quite honestly, my ribbon doesn't need to be this wide. Um, I just think it'll be a little bit better on the outside. I think it'll make more sense that it's a scarf than if we tie it like a scarf and we put it on the inside. I don't think it'll make as much sense. So we'll probably use this ribbon because it's thinner. But I like the pattern on the other one better. Or we could use this one. I don't know. I've got a couple of ribbon choices. We'll get there. All right. So let's put my transfer on. Grab my black velvet chalkology paste. Open her up. Take a squeegee. Angled side, flat side. Dip it right in. This is how easy this is and squeegee it across. Glass is one of the easiest, most forgiving surfaces to chalk on because it's very easy to clean up if you make a mistake, which it's very hard to make a mistake. So taking all that excess paste and squeegeeing it right back in to my container. But I think these would be so cute All my excess chalk right back in. Wipe off my squeegee real quick before my chalk paste dries. Okay, pull off my transfer. You make me melt. I stick this right in my water bath. I rinse it with cool water. When I take it out, lay it down sticky side up, and then when it's dry, I put it back on that backer sheet and it's good to go to be used again. I'm just going to dry it so I don't stick my finger in it. Yeah, I think especially with the words on it, if we put the scarf on the inside, it just gets too busy. So I'm just drying it real quick so that I don't smear it while I'm putting stuff inside of it. Chalk paste dries very quickly. Doesn't take much at all. And you can tell when it's dry because it dries to a matte finish not shiny anymore. So you know right away when it's dry. These were thick letters so it takes a second longer. You don't have to use a dryer to dry it um, but just speed the process up otherwise you can just set it aside until it's dry and again you know when it's dry because it's not shiny anymore. Um, and you can use a regular hair dryer. Just you don't need the heat, you can use heat, but you don't need the heat. Um, you just need the air. All right, so, you know what a 
it's like to open one of these, right? You end up with snow everywhere. So I'm going to be careful when I open this bad boy and try to not get snow everywhere. It's like glitter. This stuff is the gift that keeps on giving. So we're going to dump our snow in. I think that's enough. Oh my gosh, this is gonna be adorable. You could totally put lights in this too. I think we need a little more snow. Yeah, don't spill it, Maria. Okay. He's cute without a nose. <laughs> All right, so now, so we've got our little snow. Take our little nose, put it in. Take our little pipe in and our button eyes. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can see it, but see how I have them in there? So I put the nose, they're just gonna move around. I, I'm worried they're gonna sink. That would be the only thing. This isn't something you'd wanna move around a lot. Okay, so. Oh my gosh. Oh, he needs a scarf, hang on. We're not done yet. Where did it, oh, I put it over here. And then don't you think, just a little a little something something to finish him off. This is adorable. Oh my gosh, this is adorable. If I say so myself, we've done a good job. Now I will put a dab of hot glue on our scarf so that it stays attached. Oh yeah, this is so cute. I might even go and buy some actual fleece. These are probably too long. Try not to cut my finger. There we go. Okay. So, you make me melt. With our super cute little. You know what? I don't think we need a corn cob pipe. I think he's good. What do you think? I don't think it needs to be a corn cob pipe. Because I don't think you're going to see it enough that it's going to matter. So we have our pipe, our nose, our eyes inside. It says, You make me melt. And our little hat. What do you guys think? Do I need. Do you think I need a corn cob pipe, or do you think I can leave it alone? Okay. This is so stinking cute. <laughs> oh my gosh. You know, it's the little things in life, people. Thank you, Miss Debbie. Thank you. Hey, Tony Marie. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I don't think it needs a corn cob pipe. No, we'll see, now his, eye, now his eyeball got snow on it. I wonder if I should put like a piece of saran, you know, something over the snow so they don't sink. I could do that. You could put like a, I need to dust this bad boy off. Thanks, Miss Verge. Kristen says I can leave it alone. Hey, thanks, Kathy Kay. I bet I could put a, like a layer of something to keep the, um, yeah, this was a good deal at Goodwill. <laughs> it, it's a candle holder. You're supposed to put a candle in it, but that's not what I'm doing with it, obviously. We're making an adorable little snowman. Um, I, I gotta think of something I, we could put to keep them from sinking. Although, 
It just depends on how much you're gonna move it around. I think it's when it comes, maybe, so maybe I shouldn't glue this on because maybe you're gonna wanna be able to take it off when you just store it. Decisions, I don't know. I can, now I can lay in bed tonight all night thinking about it. <laughs> Should I glue the hat on or shouldn't I? <laughs> oh my goodness, this is the You Make Me Melt transfer. It's part of the Tis the Season to be freezing. And our super fun snowman, which is coming. Don't worry, we're going to make the snowman too. Um, it actually has an adorable snowman on it. Um, we will make the snowman. We're just not that far yet because we're having so much fun with all the other. Ooh, Kathy K is saying Velcro the hat on. <gasps> you are so smart, Kathy K. It's a great idea. And Kristen, that's an awesome idea too. Cut a plastic sheet, a sheet protector. I have tons of those. Just cut a little piece, lay it in there, and then they won't sink. There we go. Look at that. Thank you guys. See, it takes a village to craft with Maria. <laughs> she can't do it on her own. So thank you, thank you. This is our adorable little snowman guy. I am so proud of us. Like this, wouldn't this be a fun little gift for grandchildren? Right? Put their little room. You could totally put lights in it if you wanted to. That would be fun too. Um, I have fake snow all over me now. But this is our fun little project for the evening. I am making Maria. I am your Chuck Couture independent designer. This transfer is called You Make Me Melt. Ooh, Kristen is saying another option would be to run a black laminating sheet through and it would be a sturdier option. Oh, a blank. You're right. A blank. I'm sorry. I read that as black. A blank. Yes, that would work too. That would totally work. I, of course, <laughs> I have that option too. I could do a piece of plexiglass too. I have plexiglass. I could cut a little piece of that out. You could glue some small dowels on each. Lydia, that's a fantastic idea, Lydia. I have dowels too. <laughs> So that, so Lydia is saying, just take our little guys. That's a really good idea, Lydia. And glue some dowels to them so that then that would sit them up. Then I could even sit my little corn cob pipe nose up if I wanted to. That's a really good idea, Lydia. Thank you, Lydia. See, it takes, it takes a village. All right. So go kill all your goldfish. No, I'm just kidding. Don't kill your goldfish. But. If you happened to have had a goldfish at some point that did not survive and you have this adorable little goldfish bowl hanging around <laughs> waiting for a new roommate, well, maybe it's time to make him a snowman instead. <laughs> I hope you guys have a great Monday. I am making Maria. I'm your Chuck Couture independent designer. www.chuckcouture.com slash making Maria. You make me melt is the transfer. I hope you have a great Monday and I will see you guys tomorrow night. Thanks guys.